Originally starting in this house, it was brown. I really love the black, and especially since I was painting over the brown, I think it was a really good try. But I'm not gonna lie, I think the white just really brightens the space. It feels calmer, it feels so much bigger. We decided to take a few breaks and we really wanted to explore a lot more of this island of Vancouver Island that we're on. So we've been taking out these little road trips any chance that we can and just exploring all the different areas. Having the presence of friends coming to visit us ever since Raphael passed away, it's been super helpful and I even think it's been helpful for Hadley. You like the white too, don't you? You're like, yes, it's much more airy. Just really thankful that friends have come to be consoling with us as we've been through a lot especially over these last few months if not the last year. Looking forward to finishing a lot of the touches around the house as well as some more fun in-house DIYs including the kitchen and getting back into some furniture projects just to make the house feel complete.
just getting back into some DIYs and making the home more eclectic and bringing things together and making it more of a home. A lot of things have even just stayed in boxes from our previous move when we came to this house because we've been working on the house for most of the year. So having friends come and visit with us and tour around a little bit with us and taking the time to explore all of what Vancouver Island has to offer has been extremely therapeutic. Super happy with the results. Again, three full coats, but it was worth the pain. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint the inside of that cabinet a nice kind of rich charcoal color, just to give it a nice refresher before I move the rest of our stuff inside. We're kind of in a crossroads if we are truly going to stay in the city or if we should be exploring into some of the more rural areas across the entire island. So we're just enjoying the journey of it and exploring these new pockets and fun areas to, to venture to and see what's out there because maybe not staying in the city and maybe being out along the coastline might be the better calling for us. In the process, let's take a look around. We have discovered so many amazing fun pockets all through the island and we have so much more to explore. For Hatley. He's been a little bit lonely and if anything he's been a little bit lethargic since Raphael's passing so we decided to venture out and meet with some people and lo and behold we were super excited to find a lovely woman and it just so happens that she's expecting a litter come this September. We're just really looking forward to bringing a new bundle of energy and love back into the house as we miss our boys so much and we really think it would be therapeutic for Hatley as well. A lot of those projects are now coming to a complete and with the gardens outside we're super happy. We've done a lot of landscaping outside including fixing the fence. We're definitely feeling quite accomplished but we're also questioning if we're going to make this the long-term home as well as exploring the rest of what Vancouver Island has to offer. So taking these little expeditions outside across the island has been a lot of fun and extremely therapeutic.
Thank you so much for joining me in this week's video. I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. Until then, take care.